This video is going to be a project management comparison between money.com and Asana. So welcome to today's video guys and in today's video we're going to be go doing a quick project management comparison between these two money.com and Asana and which one will be the better project management tool. So let's jump right into it. So we're going to be starting off with their dashboards. I'm going to first I'll log into my accounts on both of these platforms and you can see on this side over here this is the basic dashboard of monday.com and that is the basic dashboard of Asana and as I can tell that both are pretty neat and clear and they follow a sort of similar vibe and aesthetic like a very simplistic and minimalist aesthetic and generally speaking, you're going to be finding like various similarities between these two platforms. And there is almost little to no differences in terms of their usability as a general user or customer for both of these softwares. So getting started on the top over here on monday.com. You're gonna see the different workspaces within a workspace. You can just like add people as many as you want. You can click on add a workspace and create a new workspace to start an entirely different project. And all of the data within like a single project is not cross contaminable, which means it is not going to mess with the other ones. So if I had, if I had something in my workspace, like McDonald's farm or something then I can't transfer my, my data from the McDonald's farm into into the management workspace and within your workspace you can add different boards and dashboards and a board is a board like that that you have opened up and then you got another board on top so that is a marketing plan board and you can make a sales plan and you just you just click on create board and that is going to create a second section within the management workspace and that is going to be like separated into two different categories and now you have your marketing plan or your sales plan and that is just like the basic level of categorization of items in monday.com now on your navigation on the left you're going to find the, the notifications over there and after that, you have your inbox, you're going to find it there, and my work section. And that is the section that I really, really like about money.com. Because in the my work section, you can see all of the work that is assigned to you. Only, only the stuff that you have to do or you have done. And you can see all of your items that have been completed as well. You can hide them and choose to show them. And then you also have work that is like overdue today, this week, next week, later, or without a date. So you can view everything, all of that, within the click of a button. It is really, really simple and organized for your liking. Also, if you are like working with a lot of numerous different clients and businesses, then this definitely helps you keep you organized and on track. And it helps you to do your work very very efficiently without having to browse through the entire works because everything is organized within a neatly manner now after that you have your app integrations and you can integrate like thousands of apps on the app marketplace to money.com it's a pretty pretty vast and diverse service and you're going to find all of your standard integrations after that, you can invite members, and if you click on in this section, you have your account settings and their explore page. And within your account settings, you have your my profile, import data, and integration developer, recycle my archive, admin, and team section. Now moving on to Asana. Now Asana is is like basically like very very similar towards Monday.com. And you can see on the left, you have your homepage, and on your homepage, you have all of the stuff that you have to do, your basic like projects, and the people you've added on your Asana. Then you have your My Task section, and as I said, 
like on mine.com that is really really helpful towards keeping you organized and Asana also has this in place and like I told you earlier these two are very very similar also on Asana you can have your own custom section which mine.com doesn't allow you to have so that is definitely like a big big plus points towards Asana after that you have your inbox where you can do all your direct messaging and stuff then you have a reporting functionality, you have your portfolio, yeah, and then you have your custom goals, so you're going to have to add goals by yourself on the Asana platform. And after that, you have your different workspaces. Now, if you take a look over on the Asana layout, it pretty functions pretty similarly of saying... Like, instead of just saying that it is a workspace, you can just say that it is a new project you're going to click on new project then you can start with like a blank canvas you can start off with a template or you can import an in very a, your entire spreadsheet and if you just start with a blank canvas you can add the things you want to add so if you want to delete any kind of project you can just click on these three dots over here and click on delete project and then you can delete like that now that is just like the general overview over on the Asana platform. Then you have your account setting as well. It's pretty simple. You have a general settings for your own account. Now overall for usability and general features, you're going to find that all of them are pretty pretty simple and similar. And then now, what is the price point of these management softwares? Well, to get started on money.com, it is available for free, and on the free version, you have unlimited board stocks, 200 templates, you have 20 column types, you have up to 2 members, so only if you have a team of less than 2 people, or people can you, you can work, definitely on money.com. While on Asana, if you take a look over on their pricing, you have unlimited tasks, projects, messages, and unlimited activity logs. You have basic project views. You have calendar views, assignees, and due dates, project overviews for the free version as well. And you can collaborate with up to 15 teammates, and that is the highlight feature of Asana. Now, that is a very, base, very basic limitation for mine.com because if someone is looking to do a project management software for free because not everyone in the world has the, has has a budget and they have a team of more than two people they're going to be opted or more tempted to go for Asana because while well, Asana lets you do up to 15 people for free and generally speaking if you take a look from a bird's eye view you are definitely going to find that both of these platforms are pretty much the same now for their differences, well, you get unlimited boards and docs on monday.com and you also get unlimited testing projects on the basic version of Asana, so there really isn't one difference that I could just say and pinpoint and, and say like, this is what makes Monday better or Asana better than the other, but if we compare their premium versions, that is where the differences go. You can see on the premium versions you have stuff like timeline views, unlimited dashboard reporting, across unlimited projects, event search, custom fields, unlimited press, unlimited free guest invites, forums, rules, start times, and dates. While on money.com they have their basic version starting at eight dollars per member per month, and it includes unlimited free viewers, unlimited items, five gigabytes for pile storage, prioritize customer support and you can create a dashboard for up to one board so when it comes to pricing asana does it better because although they keep it simple with the only three plans i found that their plans are priced more decently than money.com and i think if you're ever looking to upgrade on money.com you should definitely go to the pro version of money.com i'm just going to give you dashboards that can come Combine up to 10 boards, over 25,000 integrations, 25,000 automations, dependency columns, formula columns, time tracking, and all of that stuff. Now, if you go for the lower version, for example, the $10 per month, 
you're going to get a few different and uh, new words, but nothing there is going to be really, really that significant, especially on the basic version of Monday. So that is pretty much it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys learned something new. Don't forget to like, subscribe down below, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.